The Manzene Municipal Council will auction some of the caracal that are kept in the municipal pound. The Public Relations Officer of Manzene City Council, Matogoza Twala, says they will auction some of the caracal to reduce the cost of keeping them in their pound. We have a report. Manzini Council Public Relations Officer Matosa Twala says feeding the cattle that are kept in the pound costs the city council about 2,000 malangani per day. He says each bale of hay costs them 500 malangani. Twala says to keep one cow in the pound overnight is 75 malangani. We have uh, 59 uh, animals, uh, meaning cows, uh, that have been impounded in the Manzini Municipal Pound. But on the 4th of January, we shall be selling by public auction uh, 23 of those cows. The reason we are selling them is that uh, we are trying to recover the cost of keeping them uh, at the pound. And we are also uh, 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 encouraged by the Pound Act, which says that after 42 days, uh, the animals not having been claimed by the owners, council has every right to sell uh, those animals by public auction so that it can recover uh, the cost of keeping them at the pound. Uh, on average we spend uh, about four bales uh, per day uh, on the animals and a bale costs about 500 the malangen. So you can imagine it's, it's quite a huge cost keeping them uh, at the pound. And the release fee is 75 a malangen per cow per day or per night spent at the pound. Which means that if you have a head of uh, 10 cattle uh, that have been impounded, it means you are going to pay 75 malangeni times 10 cattle and times the number of nights spent at the pound. So we really would like to encourage uh, uh, farmers to please take care of the animals and ensure that they don't stray into the urban area of Manzini as well as the public roads. Tola urges those who miss some of their livestock to come to the Manzini Pound and check for them before the auction. He says they also have donkeys and goats in the pound. Humphrey Lamini, LinkedIn Gulli, Swazi TV News, Manzini.